Hey everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be working on building out a pretty simple Twitch bot that you can input your own commands into and then have it be working in Twitch chat so you can interact with it in whichever way you want. The real purpose of this video is to show you how like the Twitch API kind of works for this type of stuff and how you can add more functionality to your bot because what we're going to be building is a pretty simple thing and nothing that you'll probably end up using in your Twitch chat. So first of all, uh, there's a few things that you're going to need to do. Um, I don't know, make a folder and open it up in VS Code and make a file called bot.py. It doesn't actually matter what you call it. I'm just calling mine bot.py. And you need to make an environment file. Um, I'll blur out my actual information here. You'll need to make an environment file that contains that will contain all your information related to the API, such as your API tokens, um, your client secret, your client ID, and your OAuth token. And this is where you'll be doing the environment stuff um, and making sure that your code can actually run because you have the right credentials. So first, let me delete all of this information because we're going to be starting from scratch. All right. Awesome. So here we have two empty files. And the first thing that we're going to need to do before we can actually uh, work with the bot is first, we're going to be make sure that we can create a virtual environment to store all of our requirements in. So the first thing I want you to do is, if you don't already have this uh, library installed, I want you to do pip installed pip env. And I already have it installed, so it won't take any time at all for me to install it. But if you don't already have it installed, then go ahead and do so. Then cd into whatever folder you have. So I put mine in my projects folder under bots, under Twitch bot YouTube tutorial, I think. Yeah, Twitch bot YouTube tutorial. And just to make sure I'm in the right directory, we see env and bot pi. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is essentially treat it like a virtual environment. So we're not going to install the Twitch uh, library um, direct to our entire Python installation. We're just going to do it for this one particular folder and instance. So what you have to do is do pip env install Twitch. Uh, actually, I forgot what the library is called, so let me look at it right here pip install twitch io pip inv pip env install twitch io normally you would do um, pip install twitch io and then maybe create a virtual environment but in this case we're just doing it all in one go by doing pip env install twitch io and you'll see that after this is done it'll create two files it'll create this pip file and then it'll create pip file .lock. And now this is really useful when you go to deploy your bot. And we won't be covering that in today's tutorial, but it is something that you could do pretty easily when you have this. All right, so pip file um, and pip file.lock. So basically, this just makes it really easy for you to um, publish your code. Um, but that's besides the point. You're here to figure out how you can actually make a Twitch bot. So let's do that. So you're going to need to go to dev.twitch.tv. Um, and you can either make a new Twitch account for your bot or just use your current Twitch account. It doesn't really matter. For this purpose, I made my own. Uh, I made a new Twitch account for the sole purpose of working with this bot and making this bot. Um, here you can see like my first attempt at it, but I'm going to walk you guys through it by register by doing it completely from scratch. So you're going to click register your application. Um, then you just pick a name. So I don't know. Our name is going to be test bot for YouTube, right? then OAuth redirect URLs, it doesn't matter. You can just use HTTP slash localhost if you're not deploying it um, yet. So we can just do that here. Category, it's a chat bot. Let's do a captcha and then create. And now you see we have our bot here. What you're also gonna have to go do is go to, uh, what is it? It's twitchapps.com slash TMI. So twitchapps.com slash TMI. Um, and here is where you would generate, um, this is where you would generate your OAuth password. Now, obviously I'm going to have this blurred out cause I don't want you guys having my developer tokens, but, um, this is where you would get your OAuth password and I'll show you where to put that shortly. And inside of your test bot for YouTube, you'll see your client ID. And when you click new secret, it'll make a new secret and make sure to keep it confidential. So first, let's copy paste this OAuth password, uh, then move it into here. And he here where you see TMI token, that's where you're gonna paste in what you just got from your OAuth token. So paste it in the entire thing. Then um, take your client ID from your console. Awesome. Um, then just come up and then just pick the nickname of your bot. It's going to be, uh, the nickname of your bot is going to be what you've 
uh, named your actual Twitch account. So in this case, um, our Twitch account is named test Twitch bot fun, right? And then you choose a prefix for your bot. So you can make your prefix, um, you know, this is the this is the thing that people will put when they're entering commands for your bot. So you know how streamers will have things like, um, streamers will have things like exclamation mark YouTube to show a link to their latest YouTube video. Well, in this case, we're gonna do um, exclamation mark as our bot prefix because it's just the most common one, right? Having exclamation mark as the prefix. Then you're gonna input your channel name. Um, this is the channel for your Twitch account. So this is basically, once again, just your username. So now that you've entered your channel name, you are good and your environment variables are completely set up and we're ready to get started with working on the bot. Now that's pretty cool. So we'll just get straight into it. First, we're gonna import OS um, and this will let us get our uh, client information or API information from the environment file. Then we're actually gonna import um, the stuff that'll help us work with the Twitch API. So twitch.io.xtech, uh, extension, import commands. Uh, that's not how you actually write code in Python. Okay, so now that we've done our imports, we can actually get ready to build out our bot. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a bot object. So it's just gonna, we're just gonna call it bot. And then from the commands, uh, we can do commands.bot and initialize our bot using our uh, information in our environment variables. So pretty quickly, uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste it because I don't wanna type out every single line. Um, IRC token, um, that's what's gonna be your TMI token right here. Then your client ID, your bot's nickname, the bot prefix, and the initial channel. So what channel are you initializing it on? Um, if you want to make it so that anybody can add it to their own channel, you'll have to do a little bit more work for that. Um, but in this case, uh, we're just gonna be making it so that it'll be working on your own channel, right? So now we've initialized our bot. Um, and now that we've initialized it, we can quickly check to see if our code is working um, by typing in pip env, right? pip env run python bot.py. Now, if it is working correctly, we should get, we should just see a blank screen, right? We should just see loading.env environment variables and then nothing else after that. But if it wasn't, if it wasn't working correctly, what you would see would be some sort of an error that pops up. If you guys have errors, leave them in the comments down below or join my Discord server, link in the description, and I'll try to help you walk you through it. So um, let's make sure that we can actually see if our bot is going to end up uh, in our Twitch chat. How do we actually show that's in our Twitch chat? Because right now it is, um, or it should be. So what we really need to do right now is we're gonna go to, uh, uh, we're gonna make it so that when we run the file, uh, it clearly states that our bot has joined our Twitch chat. So first let's open it up and show our chat, right? And here we have some, uh, you know, we have some previous, uh, what, what's the best way to put it? We have a previous attempt of mine at making the Twitch bot. And you see that, you know, whenever it joins, it says has landed. And that's what we're going to be trying to do right now. So first of all, um, let's just keep this Twitch chat open because when it, we run the code, we should see a message from test Twitch bot fun. So let's get straight into it, huh? Right. So first we're gonna do at bot.event. Now what this does is it signifies that, okay, um, the next code block that's coming is going to be waiting for a bot event. Um, and once the event happens, uh, is gonna run some block of code. So we're gonna do async def event ready. So this just means uh, upon uh, the bot becoming ready. So when the bot goes online, um, something is gonna happen. So in our case, we're gonna do print F, right? Um, and this is just to let ourselves know exactly what's happening. So this won't actually go in the Twitch chat. This is going to happen on our local environment. So we're gonna say, um, you know, whatever the bot's name is, uh, os.environ botnick, right, um, is online. Awesome. But obviously this doesn't really matter for us. What we need to do is make sure that we're gonna be able to use this bot to send messages in the Twitch chat. So we're gonna do WS 
equals bot dot underscore ws. And what this is used for is to send messages um, within event ready. So uh, if you want to know exactly what this underscore ws thing is, um, then I would suggest you could check out the actual documentation for the library. So now we're going to add the await to our async await part and do ws dot send privm, right? And what this does is it just sends a message to the channel. Um, I don't know what I just did. I think I accidentally tried to run it. So os.environ, we're going to be sending it to this particular channel um, and do f slash me has landed, right? Uh, and slash me uh, is just a Twitch uh, is just a Twitch command. And let's see if this actually works. So this should say so many tabs open. We're gonna, this should end up saying uh, test twitch while found has landed, right? So if we go here, I run, and it doesn't. And you might be wondering, well, why is that? And that's because we're actually forgetting <laughs> to actually make sure that our code is running, right? Because if you notice, we're not calling these functions anywhere, so how is it actually going to do anything? And to fix that, we're going to do if name equals main. You know, this is something that you've seen multiple times if you worked with Python before. And what we want to do is do bot.run. So we just want to run the bot. Now, when you run it again, pip n run bot.py. Now we should see, oh, OK. Now we have an error. So channel me has landed. So string expected, not a tuple. Now, what could the problem be here? Uh, obviously, it expects a string and not a tuple. And if we figure out what actually happened, it's that this bracket doesn't need to be here. Um, what we really need to be here is this. Awesome. All right. So now when we finally run this, it should end up working. So pip n run python bot.py. And you can see right here in our Twitch chat, we get the awesome message that we really wanted to see that awesome, our test Twitch bot has landed. And that's exactly what we needed to see, right? So now let's add some actual functionality to our bot that's cool and might be nice. Now, obviously, one of the biggest awesome things about having a Twitch bot available is that you can make um, commands and have those commands be acted out upon by the Twitch bot. So in our case, um, you know, I'm not going to do anything crazy, but there's a lot of cool things that you could do, right? You could hook this up with some alternative APIs. You could hook this up with a YouTube API and automatically fetch somebody's latest YouTube video or automatically get somebody's latest tweet link or, you know, make it do some interesting things like um, interface more deeply with the Twitch API and work with channel points or um, the user's data and see how long they've been following a channel. All commands that you might have seen before. So again, we're going to do at bot to dot event. Um, actually, not at bot dot event because we're not working with an event, right? This isn't an event that's happening in the Twitch chat. What we're going to be looking for is a command. So at bot dot command. And now um, you also have to specify what the command is going to be. So in here, you're going to pass in a name uh, for the command. Um, so let's just see. Um, let's just name the command hi and async def hi. And this takes in some context. It takes in some context as its input. And we're going to wait. And based on the context, we're going to send hello, right? Now, what we could do is, um, you know, we have to restart the bot. And let's see if this works. So the way this command will work, should work, is by typing exclamation mark hi in Twitch chat, you should see the bot say hello. All right. So we got this code running right now. We don't want it to be running. We want to restart it. Do, do, do. All right. So now we see our bot is in our thing again. If we type in hi, and I have apparently not logged into Twitch. Uh, so let me do that real quick. Um, I've actually already forgotten. 
Okay, you know what? I think I'm logged into Twitch on my actual Twitch account. So let's go right here. Right? Okay, that's not the right. I forgot what the link to this is. All right. So now I'm going to be interacting with my actual Twitch account. Um, and if you want to, you know, follow me there, that'd be awesome. But anyways, this should be twitch.tv slash twitch test twitch bot fun. And now, you know, if we go here, you see the chat room. If I say hi, we can see that our Twitch bot says hello. That's pretty awesome. So, you know, the, this is really kind of like, um, this is just the real basics of making a Twitch bot. And you can see that like with literally, how many lines of code is this? 23 lines of code, you can make a Twitch bot. Um, and that's really, really cool. You can deploy this Twitch bot using a variety of methods, using Heroku um, or other services. Uh, if you want a tutorial on how to actually deploy this Twitch bot, then leave it in the comments down below and I'll make sure to do it. Um, I'll also leave a link to the um, blog post article that uh, actually inspired um, this post and where I got a lot of the code from. So if you have any more questions about how to do this or some other things that you might want to see the Twitch bot do or more advanced features that you might want to see, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll be sure to revisit this soon to build out a more advanced Twitch bot because this really was just an introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, join my Discord server, link in the description down below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.